Hey right. Hey guys, C do eat review. Who's with me? This is <laughs> Hannah. Slice, slice, baby. Welcome, Hannah. Thank C do you. eat review. Uh, we're supporting local. I like my little support local business campaign. And when Hannah hit me up, I said, "Yeah, I'll come down to Christie's Beach." That's a hike for me, but it's really not that far, is it? It's just, it's not too bad. So we're here to talk about Slice Lives. Baby, Hannah, welcome. I should let you speak instead of me rambling. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How long have you been in business with Slice Lives, Baby? And have you paid Vanilla Ice any of your name rights? Well, not yet, but maybe I should. Yes. Is that where the name came from? It has to be, doesn't it? Definitely. It's a bit okay. catchy. Yeah, it is. It is. Even my kids are saying it before I come here. Yeah, it definitely gets stuck in your head. Uh, what made you create this business? Um, I've always loved cooking and baking and mm -hmm. creating things. And I worked in aged care for a long time and I just wanted a bit of a change mm -hmm. around the kids. So, yeah, I just, just got started, started an Instagram page and mm -hmm. started sharing and, yeah. Chef just... experience? Or is this is all like, no, I learnt myself? No, no, zero. zero <gasps> that zero. is so cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, why this type of slice? We should actually show up to the camera if we can... Hold them up. Yeah, these are yours. Oh, thank you. I'm going to hold one up if you don't mind. Now, look at this. What's this one, buddy? That is a white chocolate caramel slice. So that's a Valentine's Day one. So that's Three like different me. layers. What makes you go for, create this concoction? Well, I st actually started with vegan. Okay. Gluten-free, refined sugar-free slices mm -hmm. because I used to be vegetarian. Ah. Not anymore. Yes. Um, and then when I changed into eating more of a flexible diet, yes. I wanted to incorporate chocolate and yep. yeah they're a hit they're what's really really selling yes um easy to make hard to make or is it one of those things that's like okay this is uh you know my little specialty yeah you know when you know what you're doing yeah it's quite easy yeah but creating new recipes and stuff obviously it takes a bit of a longer time and how long you been in business for oh since 2020 and what was your first one you created First slice. Yeah. Oh, it was a Twix slice. So oh, vegan really? Vegan Twix slice. Yes. I still sell it. I yes. sell it to many of the cafes that I supply oh, to. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's a big hit. It's shout out good. to the cafes you supply. Give them a shout out. Yep. So the coffee trough. Yes. Good Karma Coffee Bar. Yep. Um, Cantina 61, mm -hmm. Coffee Factory, La La Latte. Jeez, that's a lot, man. Yeah, yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, it is good. Um, so you were saying, so you started with the Twix one. Yeah. And it was vegan. Yes. Now, how did, of course, you taste it yourself, but how did you give it to other people to taste to make sure it was actually decent? Well, I just gave people samples. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you know them well enough to know they're not just going to be, yep, it's fantastic without being fantastic, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, cool. <laughs> What's something that didn't work that you made? Oh, lots of things. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love to hear these. What, things that what don't... combinations don't work? Oh, I've, when I first started making my caramel for the caramel slices, yes. yeah, it wasn't... Oh, wasn't really? Though, no. Is there a secret you have to put into it or...? You just have to get the right consistency. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you, like, do you still stuff up batches? Like, is it that Oh, yeah, I had a really bad week the other week. I, oh, really? Yeah, I think I made seven new slices oh. and only three of them worked. Jeez. So, yeah, I was a bit of a Debbie Downer that week. Oh, no, but I can understand. Like, some things just don't work where you think, uh, it, it sounds really good. Yeah. But when you get to it, yeah. it's like, oh, shit, this is bloody terrible. Yeah. And especially if you've got kids running around as well and you're trying to do some cooking as yeah, well, well, it makes it that little bit harder. We, we do the baking while they're ah, around. Ah, not around. That's yeah. the best way to do it, is it? What's the most popular seller? Oh, the Biscoff caramel or the Biscoff caramel caramel slice at the moment. There's What's everyone's fascination with Biscoff? One in your box. You know yeah. like Biscoff? Oh, I love it. Oh. I love it. I just want to know why it's I don't know. so popular. I don't know. It's just a good It's just another Nutella, caramel. isn't it? It is, but Nutella's like, you know, Nutella's the OG. Nutella. <laughs> Nutella's the OG. Like, can you have anything bad, Nutella? You know what I mean? No. Put it between two white slices of bread and yeah, it's fantastic. Delicious. What new flavours are you coming out with? Oh, there's there's a few in your box. Yeah, go for it. Let's, um, let's, so let's... we've got the the mint caramel slice. Oh, and hit me up. She goes, do you like chop mint? Because it's 50-50 with people. Yeah, we're not I sure. Said, <laughs> and I said, I love it, but it's 50-50 in our house too. It's like <laughs> me and Mr. 13 love it. Mr. 10 and mum do not <laughs> like it because they taste like toothpaste, yeah, I reckon. I reckon exactly. it tastes like heaven myself. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. What else you got there, bud? Um, we've got a crispy caramel slice with the... Um, Kinder in it. Yeah. Um, we've got caramel and crunchy slice. Yes. We've got a bis biscarella. Oh. This one okay. biscarella. So that's biscoff. That's Rocky Road, if I'm right. Nutella and Kinder all together. Oh, 
That is probably one of my favorites. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely delicious. They're all fat free as well. Mm. No. <laughs> Everything in moderation. As I say to people, they say, oh, you eat so much, why aren't you fat? Because I do it all in moderation. I do it at a gym, do a bit of, you know, eating off camera, but not too much. You know, yeah. if you eat a little yeah. bit, it works out well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Balance. Valentine's Day. Yes. You've got a special Valentine's box yes, as well. Yeah, so we've got Valentine's Day boxes. So yes. they are, I've got the pre orders out now. So mm -hmm. mainly sold out due to pre order, but we've got a couple left. So okay. a box of four, big slices, $40. Do you have a photo up. of that? I've got one. In okay, the because then I'm going to do this, and if I edit correctly, Bing. there's going to be a photo of your Valentine box up yep. there. And if I don't get the photo, it's going to be me pointing at a blank wall. <laughs> All right, that's cool, Hannah. Anything else to report? Like your Valentine's box, you're gonna have an Easter box. I'm guessing down the track yeah, as well. Yeah, Easter box always for the big, the big holidays. We always do the big boxes. Mm -hmm. Working on shipping, so okay. Australia wide shipping will be coming soon. Working on a website. Lots of exciting things coming. For and slice life, different baby. places will be. Home. I'm gonna put up in my notes. See down there. That's where my notes are. Uh, all the different places you can pick up slice slice baby. Yeah. Follow it on Instagram as yeah. well. And you can follow what Hannah's up to. Yeah. Hannah, thank you very much for your time. No buddy. worries. Thank you for having me. Cheers.